Welcome to Adam Does Movies Presents, Movies with My Black Friend. I'm Adam. And I'm his black friend, Bless. Look at that was like on cue and everything. I'm trying to tell you, bro. I'm just, bro, <laughs> you're dealing with professional here. You That's know what I'm very saying? professional. Very professional. We just like to chat movies. We thought, hey, let's do it for 45 minutes to an hour. Pick we a topic and just let loose. We have absolutely no life. We just Our life is literally family and movies. Yeah. That's really it. Sometimes that order is reversed. Yeah, sometimes. And everything for real. Well, sometimes there's some porn involved, but... Man, whatever. You know, whatever to... entertainment we can find that <laughs> we can appreciate, we're going to go with. I definitely agree. The topic of today is uh, we, we've been noticing a lot of movies lately, and by lately I mean the last like seven or eight years, going to streaming services have been outright ass. So I thought, hey, Bless, why don't we talk about the good old days and how things have changed and how sometimes they've stayed kind of similar. So the main topic here is streaming movies are now the straight-to-DVD model. I have noticed that. I even told my mom today. I said, hey, remember the good old days? She said, what about the good old days, Bless? <laughs> I said, Is that how you talk? <laughs> That's how we talk. Ma mama. Mom. Mom. Mama. What about the good old days? <laughs> Tell us about the good old days. What about the good old days, Bless? I said, remember when we used to go to Blockbuster? We used to rent movies on Fridays and have a good time and look forward to after school. Like, as soon as you get out, it's like, you know what? You know where I'm going? To Blockbuster. And depending on what neighbor you, go, uh, you live in, you know where I'm going to? The Bodega. And I'm going to back, past the porn section. And I'm going to the new releases. Where they have the beads? <laughs> yeah, they we have, have the, the beads. beads doorway. Yeah, they have the beads. Remember that? Yeah, <laughs> you go beads. in there, and it's like you, you enter a completely different world. It was so funny as you see your neighbor as you think is such a nice, good young man. <laughs> He's got a whole family and shit, and he walks out. <laughs> he walks out with a gang of fucking movies. We didn't have the big chains where we lived. We didn't have the um, Hollywood video or Blockbuster. We had Mr. Movies. Dude. Mr. Movies sucked. <laughs> Bro, I'm, I'm going to be dead real with you. I didn't know shit about none of that yeah. until I got into my late teenage years. Mine is just like yours. I, was, I grew up in uh, South Jamaica, Queens. Okay. Literally, what you just said, yo, it was mom and pop video stores. Yeah. Mom, that's it. I didn't, like... If anybody who lives in New York and you're a kid, it's like you gotta take the bus everywhere. I wasn't taking the bus all the way to um far as was the um, I forgot where it was at. But long story short, I wasn't taking all taking the bus to Francis Lewis to go to a blockbuster, and sure. I can get it right down the block in my house from the mom and pop. And I knew them too. Yeah, the Mr. Movies we had at the mom and pop. It wasn't really mom and pop. It was a chain. It was just a really a less, it was a chain it was called a Mr. Lesser, movies. It was a lesser chain. I think it was only this. Minnesota based. I'm gonna fact check this. Yeah, please do. Please do. They're, they're, spoiler: they're all out of business. <laughs> Mr. Movies. I'm to literally look this up too. But they did have there is. yeah, they did have the like adult section, and it was so funny because the main store would be kind of just like sterile and boring, yeah. and you have your popcorn and stuff. But you go through the beaded section, it's like you entered Maz Eisley Tavern or something. It's like. Yo. There's a dude dealing drugs in the That's corner. So There's a guy funny, urinating man. on the side. Oh gosh! Like, where <laughs> am I right now? It's like a completely different world in there. It's like it's like back in the days with the uh, cable boxes. How you go back and forth to the channel so you can see a little. Yeah. Bit. Oh yeah. The you little fuzzy snow yeah. on the TV. You just get a little bit. You can see what's going on there. It's like yeah, that's what I'm talking about. I <laughs> only went in that section once, and it was because I think it was a rite of passage for any. You know, I, think it's I was definitely like right 13 years old. It's like what's behind there? Dude, you was 13. Yeah, it was about 13. I'd he was say. fucking old. I was there like 10. You were there 10? Yeah. Well, what, what in the adult section? Yeah, I went right oh. through the beads. Okay, I feel like I, nobody saw me. I just went right through the beads <laughs> and stuff. Yeah, I think they was at the cash register not paying attention. Went right through the beads. Yeah, I don't think I just was ever I went curious to school. at that point. Dude, I went to school the next day and just bragged about it. Really? Yeah, no bullshit. I went to school the next day. I went to, you know how everybody lies? Yeah, like, yeah, oh, I yeah. go there all the time. But you were, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I go there all the hey, time. Hey, Jimmy, look, there's Bless. Yeah. That's the guy that went through the beaded That's section. That's what I'm saying. It was more like Jaquan or something. I don't think we had a Jimmy. Yeah, it was more like a Jaquan. Jaquan. Yeah, I don't think we had a Jimmy. Did the kids just like stand up on the tables in the lunchroom and do the slow clap as you walk by? No, that would have been pretty cool. That, that would have been pretty cool. cool. That would definitely have been pretty cool. What is everybody clapping about? He yeah. went through the beads. Went through the uh, beads. The janitor. Yeah. Just ah, I see. I got as, it. As he, as he cleans the throw up off the floor. <laughs> <laughs> as he puts the powder down and cleans the throw up off the floor. Yes, definitely. But no, I personally like the mom and pop stores, but... Blockbuster and Hollywood Video definitely took it to a different level. And stuff. Yeah. Definitely took it to a different level. But one thing I used to notice back in the days, and all video stores weren't created equal. No. Meaning that the mom and pop stores, if you were a movie head, you could find movies that definitely Blockbuster didn't have. And then Hollywood Video had exclusives yep. that 
block, vice versa, that Blockbuster didn't have in the Hollywood video didn't Kind of like how streaming now Exactly. Has That's what leads into it. Exactly. And they also even went as far as some streaming services have, like, contracts with actors so they cannot be in movies for Netflix or... You know, I never I, knew that. Yeah, I believe with Adam Sandler's new contract he had with Netflix where he had to make, like, 70 movies for yeah. them. He could not do an Amazon movie. Well, Amazon acquired the Hotel Transylvania property. Mm-hmm. And they made a new Hotel Transylvania. Adam Sandler's not the voice. Yo, see, I didn't even know that. Yeah. I knew he did a deal with Netflix for his company, but I didn't know what the deal consisted of him not doing movies with anyone else, yeah. only but Netflix. They must have paid him handsomely. Oh, I'm sure they did. Because if you think about it, you know what other movie was on Netflix? Um, The Jim's one with the two directors from New York. I forgot their names. The Brothers. They did, uh, oh man, uh, is it Righteous, not Righteous Gemstones, it's um, Adam Sandler, Jim, something. The one where he Uncut found- Uncut Gems? Uncut Gems. Yeah, A24. Yeah, A24. That was A24? That was A24. Really? Okay, yeah. that's on Netflix. Oh, nice. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm movie. saying. That's that. an amazing that's, yeah, movie. That's fantastic. But the point I'm trying to make is to yours is that you're right, because if that movie would have went on Amazon, I wonder if that would have had a problem with him in it. Oh, yeah. You yeah, know absolutely. what I'm trying to say? Yeah, they, they just, it's it's all comes back around. The Mr. Movies I was at, the owners didn't think Jerry Seinfeld was funny, so they didn't carry the movie Comedian. Really? Yeah. And I, I remember going there looking, because I was a big Jerry Seinfeld fan from the show, and they didn't have it. I'm like, where is this movie? You don't even have a single copy. And like, yeah, the store owners don't like him, so they didn't carry the film. I'm like, well, that's, that's, very, that's really that's shitty. That's very shitty. Yeah, yeah, that's okay, very well, shitty, I guess. Yeah. Get it, I guess. Um, maybe one of the many reasons that the blockbusters and the mr movies don't exist anymore one thing i used to miss about those movies back in the days people who worked there kind of knew movies so you oh, yeah sit they there, did yeah they so you did. can sit there and literally be like so what do you think about this and they can break the whole damn thing down to you to where now it's like so have you seen this movie what popcorn <laughs> like it's like <laughs> it's like literally like what popcorn I know. Like, yeah, it's like, have you seen this yet? Uh, no, can you tell me about oh, it? Oh, what is that? They're like, they don't even know what the they don't movie even know is. what the hell they the movie is. That's what I'm saying. The theater. Nothing, yo. Yeah, it's, it's like it's depressing. Yeah, it's definitely. I feel isolated right now. The fact that we don't have video stores like that no it's more. It's a bummer. My buddy, definitely... my buddy Derek actually worked at a movie rental store. Oh, you talking about Derek? Years. You know Derek? No. <laughs> yeah. Do you know Derek? You know Derek? Yeah, yeah Derek. You no know. shit. You know Derek? <laughs> wow. I just saw Derek. He worked at a movie rental store for many years. I was super jealous because that's the job I always wanted. Dude, I, I always wanted totally to work at the job. front of a movie theater, taking the tickets, yeah. feeling like a god, or working at a movie rental store, putting them away, seeing what's coming out, being the first to get the pick and bring it home. Uh, we used to play a movie trivia game, and by his third year working there, it was the game was over. You really? have so many actors and movies memorized. It was like, this isn't fun. I can't compete. Dude, that shit was the best, man. Yeah. That shit was the best. Because the whole point, like you said, you get to take the movie home before it came out so yeah. you could watch it and have the whole movie down. So that Friday or Saturday or whatever, when the whole boatload comes in, you could talk about the movie. Exactly. And stuff. And remember when they used to only have like one or two copies of the main movies? And then you have to call in and be like, <laughs> yes. hey, do you have it? Because if Why not, it's like sold that? out. They would have only like one or two copies of the main movie and it's sold out. They would have like 35 of some shitty rom-com yes. and then they would have like two of The Matrix. Of the ma- exactly. Like, what are you doing? Yeah. And then you have that one guy who holds it for like three weeks. Right. And they have to get a new one because he's not bringing it back. At our movie rental place, which I did like, they had picks from the people working. Really? So they'd have like Michael's picks. It would always cool. be more artsy than than Jeremy's, who would have terrible taste, and it would be just like the the American version of Godzilla and shitty stuff like that. I'm looking at the pictures too of Mr. Yeah. Movies. I of feel Mr. Like movies, I'm there. yeah. Well, yeah, I feel like I'm there right now. Well, T- tell me the story. I'm looking at the. Picture let me right. let me paint a picture for you of Mr. Movies. You walk in and you feel like a kid at a candy store. Oh, am I, do you have background music? For me? <laughs> <laughs> Making it happen. <laughs> Uh, yeah, the, there's, there's kind of a glow on Yo, the screen. Yo, for real. I have my parents' hands. You feel you me? It's looking up. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You Mama, look- papa. Mama, papa. I look like I have like a Legend of Beggar Vance <laughs> outfit on. Got something. a copy ton. <laughs> like the Newsies cap. Ready, ready to go to get your first movie. Tell, tell me tell me about it was when you forget your first movie. <laughs> You're like Bill Paxton in Titanic. Take Here. me back to the time you when go. you saw your first movie. You know, um, I've never seen Titanic. What? I'm dead fucking serious. I've never seen Titanic. You uh, don't like James Cameron. Dude, you have put me on some movies that you I haven't have seen, not in, seen like, years. You have not seen Avatar? I have not seen you Avatar. You have not seen Titanic? Have yeah, you seen, seen True Lies? Of course. That's one of the movies. Okay. Well, don't say of course. Yes. You haven't seen his other two massive hit- hits. I've seen, uh, oh, I'm about to say Jackass too. I've seen uh, <laughs> Judgment. Terminator 2, <laughs> yeah. Judgment Day. And well, I've seen he part did Terminator one. 1. He, uh, he also did 
Aliens, the sequel. Yeah, I've seen Alien, that. And he did The Abyss. Wait, but he didn't do the first Aliens? No, that was Ridley Scott. Interesting. Alien. Aliens is to me is always better than Alien. Yeah, I go back and forth because they're very. I mean, Alien is straight up horror, whereas Aliens is more action sci fi with a I little bit of you. horror sprinkled in. Did it bug you out as a kid when you saw the alien pop out the dude's body? Like when yeah. he was on the table? That was freaking That awesome. was very, like, at the time, yeah. that was that was intense. Like, that was really intense. And he yeah. wasn't real, wasn't he? He was like a cyborg or some shit. Well, that was a different character, but yeah, there, there's the there's cyborg it. guy, and uh, you know what? It actually was a little lighter for me because I saw Spaceballs before I saw Spaceballs Aliens, is an amazing and movie. Spaceballs makes fun of that scene. Yeah, so, see, uh, I, I saw Spaceballs next. Oh, okay, yeah, you did the right Aliens order. First. So yeah, I, saw I saw that Spaceballs first, next. and there's that scene at the bar where uh, yeah. an alien rips out of the dude's chest and does the, like, hello, my baby, hello, yeah. my honey. Yeah. That movie's really good. That's funny. You I, like I, it? Oh, I do. Oh, I'm about to say, I can no, tell. I said, I said, he was like, oh, that's good. It's funny. My movie's amazing. I saw it a couple years ago with my kids. Does and, it still hold up? Eh, a little bit. It's okay. What is it, the power of the swords? Yeah, some of it's just really hokey with the rings coming out. Yeah, you know, the, the that's like John rings. Candy, R.I.P. John Candy was great. Yeah, John Candy was amazing. Well, so was um, <clears throat> Rick Moranis. Rick Moranis. What that's happened to Rick Moranis? Was... He just disappeared. Well, he retired. Um, I guess what happened Did is... Did he this... ever really retire? Yeah, well, his wife... Something tragic happened. I think oh, she wow. died when he was in like yeah, the sorry, peak of his, of his like you know celebrity. I didn't even know that. Yeah, he was at his peak. She died, got really ill, and so he chose to retire and raise the two kids. I never even knew that. Very, I, very admirable. The last movie I think from the top of my head was Honey I Shrunk the Kids. Honey I Blew Up the Kid. He did do. Didn't he do a football movie too? Like a kid one? Yeah, he did Little Giants. That's an amazing damn movie. Are you sure he's in that? Rick he's, Moranis? Yeah, Little Giants. That he's movie's one of the really coaches. He's good. the coach of the ragtag team. And then you have Paul Arnold. Is that the Back other track? guy? No, it's Al Bundy. Al yeah, Bundy Al is, the, it, is yeah. the douchey coach. He's hilarious. Okay, I'm about to look it up right now. Rick Mor- yeah, Rick Moranis is in it. My uncle took us to see this and everything. Yeah, Shout it was, it was, a, fine, it was a fine film. It was yeah. fun. I thought it was amazing. Yeah, well, amazing is a strong word. Dude, I'm getting sick and tired of Rotten Tomatoes. 36% on Little Giants? What the fuck? Well, Rotten Tomatoes, they don't like comedies. I think Dumb and Dumber is at like 60%. I don't Dumb even know and if Dumber it's is probably amazing. Rotten. That's my favorite comedy. Yeah. Dude, yeah. That's, me and my sister know that movie like in and out Oh, my God. And my son. Like yeah, we know that movie like completely in and out. It's like, kind of sad that the like the number one quote from Dumb and Dumber is "Big gulps, huh?" Big yeah, <laughs> and that was one that Jim Carrey completely ad libbed. Like those um, guys weren't even supposed to be in that scene; they just came out. I like when he's trying to say, "I'm, I'm, I'm gonna make you bet before the end of the day." He, oh, he yeah, bets yeah, 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 yeah. Like, That shit is hilarious. Sea bass and yeah, sea bass. Yeah, to pick up the tab. <laughs> yeah, sea bass said that. Well, if that gentleman over there is sea bass, <laughs> yeah, that shit yeah. is hilarious, yo. Yeah. And stuff for real. <laughs> Mock, yeah. Good old movie. Ding. Pull over. No, what? it's a cardigan. But thanks for asking. What do you think about Cable Guy? I love Cable Guy. Cable Guy is really damn yeah. good. You know what? Let's table this. This is gonna be an entire. Let's do a Jim Carrey episode next. Jim Carrey. Time. I'm so down. For Jim I fucking Carrey. love Jim Carrey. He doesn't get enough credit to me. You know, it would have been timely to do it now because he just said he was leaving twitter which i guess is a, a big thing for one person but is that was, bad yeah no it's not bad dude i got i haven't been on twitter in fucking yeah, twitter is trash but uh yeah you're, you're better off being on less social media yeah i didn't know he so he said he's leaving twitter that's yeah. a big fucking news no it, it, well it is for <laughs> what the yeah, hell? it is for somebody i know i'm getting old like what? Yeah, I know. <laughs> who the fuck cares? <laughs> is he still making movies? <laughs> okay, that's all yeah. I care about. Is he gonna be in Sonic Three. <laughs> you feel me? Like for real? What the hell? I give a shit if he's on Twitter. Mm. That's another thing I don't like about nowadays when it comes to our actors and the people that we grew up watching or even watching now. I really don't want to know your personal life. Like I want to yeah. know you as an actor. Like yeah. you get what I'm trying to say? It's, it's more of the the fantasy or the imagination of who you are. It's like I don't want to know what you ate on fucking right. Thursday. Like I, I don't know how to put it. It's just. I, growing up as a kid, I did like I didn't want to know what my favorite actor or director was doing. It was more like, oh, he's coming out with a new movie. Hell yeah, right. let's make it happen. I didn't care about nothing. His political views, views of life, I can give two shits. Right. I just want to know what movies he making and what's coming out next. And the the funny thing is, it's always been that way. It's just with social media now, it's just so. It's much too more. much, yeah. man. It's way too much. It's easy to avoid like a magazine article as we do a podcast. Yeah. Right, right. As we do a fucking. Let me podcast. tell you what I think about religion and politics and everything. Now, as we, we do a podcast, here, though, we we genuinely just talk about movies, and that's very true. That's the the, but, the goal of my channel has always been to just have fun and, and talk films. There's enough of the drama everywhere else. In the I world. totally agree, but no, I just really like 
to watch movies. Yeah. I don't want to know anything. I want to be locked in the fantasy of the movie. I hear you. That's it. Like I don't want to. That's the whole point of a movie or a play. I want to be locked in those two hours or hour and a half or some nowadays five hours oh of a gosh. fucking movie and don't want to think about anything else but that movie. Well, that's how it used to be. Now I watch a movie a lot of times and I think, when is this movie going to be over? Yo, you should see him when we in the movie theater, yo. It's like literally. I have to tell him to have patience, sir. Yeah, have patience. Well, I think that it's rubbing off on you because now you're even like. Yeah, now this I'm movie's like. Movie's over two hours long. <laughs> yo, I never until I met Adam. Yo, I never looked at the fucking movie time. I never I've did. Ru- I've ruined everything. I never did, yo. I, ne- I would just go in the movies and just watch it and not know how long it's going to be a nothing. Yeah. When I met him, it was like, wait, this movie's like two. I'm like, what? Who cares? It's yeah. a movie. And so until I started watching a couple bad ones and I see what he was talking it's about. It's just, th- th- because the thing is, a bad movie can be watchable if it's short. But not a long a two long and a half. A long movie is just miserable. A.K.A. Barbarian. Right. Yeah, A.K.A. Barbarian. Like I, that was that was that was one I had to tell Adam. Okay, be patient. I said be there's patient. so mm-hmm. many shitty Jet Li and Jackie Chan movies because they're only an hour and a half long. So it's like you get three awesome action scenes and then some stupid filler in between. That doesn't matter, but it's quick. Okay, the, the Jackie Chan I agree with the Jet Li. I'm gonna have to get up and go. Thanks. Oh wow, wow! <laughs> Thank you so much. I have to get up and go. Now. There's a lot of bad Jet Li movies. I don't know, dude. Except for Romeo Must Die. Cradle to the Grave with. Oh, DMX. you talking about the? Um, so you know what? You know what's so wild, man? Yeah. I knew who Jet Li was. Way before he hit America, <laughs> this is gonna be one of those. Most, I knew this artist before yeah, you did. Basically, <laughs> they you sold know what I'm out. Jet Li sold his soul, dude. I was in eighth grade. No bullshit. I was in eighth grade, and I started collecting uh, kung fu movies. Okay. Um. Oh, so you watched him when he was doing like the Japan yes? Stuff. I used to get him yeah. from VHS. I used sure. to pay ten dollars a movie on, on gotcha. bootleg. Uh, because they would import them in. So the, the guy who was selling them have the master copy, and he would just duplicate them, and he would literally sell them and stuff nice. for $10. You get three for 25 wow. So I used to, that's how I knew who he was. But when he came to America, we started doing American movies, I agree. It was, wasn't the Jet Li that I know. Yeah. Lethal Weapon, I think, was his first one. Lethal Weapon 4 was awesome. And then after that, he did Romeo Must Die. I like Romeo like, Must Die. You're fucking nuts. It's dumb as shit. Dude, I like it. Trash, I, that movie's bro. dumb. I, I can't love even it. make 15 I love that, that movie. movie. That's so stupid. I like Kiss the Dragon, I think it is. Kiss of the Dragon that shit is with really uh, Aaliyah? No. Oh, no, that's, no, no. That's I'm Romeo sorry. Must Die. I'm sorry. Yeah. See, he says he likes Romeo Must Die, but he totally mixes no, it up. No, no, no. Romeo Must Die has got the... Uh, no, the, that's got the fat dude yeah, in it. The, the fun, yeah, the fun, the heavy black dude Yeah, the guy who I would bring Black-ish. over... Yeah, the guy who I like bring over to watch I Saturday love that guy. With. He's yeah, hilarious he's, he's in cool. Romeo Must Die. That movie sucks, man. Oh, it's fun. It's it's, got, it's like a cheap knockoff Matrix movie. Same with The One with Jet Li. The one is hit or miss. I am the one. It's an hour and 20 minutes long. Maybe that's why you like nah, it. It's yeah. perfect. It's, it's really hit or miss. In and out. He's throwing CG motorcycles. Remember at the end? Oh, yeah. He's on the pyramid. He's on the fighting. fucking pyramid. Spice standalones <laughs> yeah. playing by Godsmack. <laughs> I wonder how long he was there. Does he get tired? No, he never gets tired. It's he Jet never Lee. gets tired. Yeah, it's I Jet agree. Lee. He's absorbed all the other Jet Lees. Yeah, I think so. But I'm saying, me personally, Kiss the Dragon, American wise. Okay, I got. It. I'm gonna. It's gonna bother me if I can't figure out the name of the woman that's in Kiss the Dragon. It's a white right chick. Now. No, you, you don't tell me. Movies. It's not Bridget Fonda. It's the daughter. No, it is Bridget Fonda. Oh, I'm saying Kiss. I say Kiss the. It's Bride Bridget Fonda. Shit. It's like the last Kiss movie the I saw her in. I'm gonna tell you right now. You oh, don't need shit. to. I just told you. It's Bridget Fonda. Yeah. I just... <laughs> <laughs> Kiss of the Dragon has the yeah. shot where he kicks the pool ball at the guy across. Yeah. Yeah. I'm looking at the guy right now, too. That's Bridget Fonda. Yeah. Oh, shit. Bridget Fonda playing in what? She's a smoke show in that movie. Remember Single White Female? Yeah, I remember of course. That movie. Yeah, she's, yeah, she was fantastic. She just completely fell off the earth after... Seriously, that Jet Li movie was the last thing I saw her Bro, in. she did Lake Placid. I love Lake Placid. You're fucking bugging. Lake Placid <laughs> is an hour and 20 minutes <laughs> long. Bugging, bro. It's so good. You're bugging, bro. I'm rooting for the crocodile. Dude, you know what's so hey, wild? I'm rooting for the crocodile. I don't know if you remember this. I remember this. I remember Na- everything. 1992 singles. Okay. That was a huge MTV movie. Yeah, I remember shitty MTV singles. That movie sucked ass. Yeah. But the soundtrack was amazing. MTV made, I think, two or three movies. Dude, Dead man, on... way more than fucking two. I don't think so. Let me see MTV movies. Fact check with the MTV moniker, like their logo at the beginning with the astronaut helmet. Remember, okay, they if did you... Dead Man on Campus with uh, Zach Morris, you know what? Mark that was Paul, actually good. Mark Paul Gossinger. That was actually really good. It was weird for me because he had brunette hair. That bothered me. His oh. natural hair color. And then um, they did that horrible, horrible Joe's apartment. With the that shit was cock- disgusting, the yo. Cockroaches. That was a disgust. I mentioned that movie not too long ago, yo. Because if you live in South Carolina, we have water bugs. 
Oh. Out here? Oh, gosh. And yeah. plus, if you live near the water, it's fucking disgusting. Okay. And I always Before related to Joe's apartment. Joe's apartment was just awful. I don't see how you can make... I never... To be honest with you, I just, the Roach thing just threw me off. They did Varsity... No, they did way more, dude. I they can tell you say... Right now. There's a musical, too. They were like, funky child. bro. They yeah. did Varsity Blues. Remember Varsity Blues? I do. Yeah, they did Varsity Blues. I didn't Blues. know that they did that one. Yeah, they did. I'm looking at their list right now. Fact check. Um, <laughs> fact I wasn't check. like factually saying they only did three movies. They only did three That's movies. It. Full that stop. Is it. You're a liar. You're a fucking liar. <laughs> You're a liar. This guy's a phony. He's a phony. Yeah, what was that? Was a family, family guy, guy, right? He's a phony. <laughs> that was one he's of the funniest Family Guy things because nothing ever happened in that yeah, dude. Yeah, like, he's, he's a just phony. like just keep walking. It's the only time <laughs> yeah. he ever kept his cool. Dude, they did the wood. That's actually a good movie. No, it's not. You didn't like the wood? I don't remember. I never saw the wood. Oh, okay, the wood's good. You should check it I was out. Just saying that to be two hundred kind of, cigarettes. I was just saying it to be contrarian. I don't geez, these fucking big words again. Can we focus? We're so far in the weeds now. I don't even know what the topic <laughs> is anymore. The topic was straight to streaming movies that suck oh ass. My, right we're not now. even we're not even on the playbook. Dude, we're beyond on the playbook. Okay. <laughs> this is this is, this is circle, beyond on the playbook. Here's here's where I was trying to circle this to where history is repeating itself. ADD. <laughs> Movie rental stores had a top shelf. Believe it or not, there was more than one shelf at a movie rental store. Imagine the kids who are listening to this right now. Do you now. remember what was on the top shelf of movie rental stores? New releases. In some sections. In other sections, the top shelf ref, uh, rentals were the rip-off movies. Yo, you're right! See, I, okay, it must have been where you lived at. See, yeah. ours was the bottom. Oh, well, that would make more sense. Yes, no that's bullshit. that's where they belong. No, see, ours was never the top. It was always the bottom. Like, say if they came out with Independence Day, yeah. and they would come out with a fake Independence right. Day. There was one company that was doing all that. Yeah, Independence Day, it's like Freedom Yeah, but, freedom it's, fucking, week. but it's Independence Day. Right, It's right. literally Independence yeah, Day. Yeah, because there was Twister, and then there was Tornadoes. Bro. They, they would always have a uh, like a copy. You know. I don't know if, if to be honest, they had to have an inside person to enable to know to pinpoint when these movies were coming out. Yeah, and stuff, yo. It was one company that was doing it, literally. Asylum, was it? Well, Asylum was one of them. Asylum fucking sucks. Yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, no, seriously, like yeah, all their I movies, know. even I besides know. that. But I think trash. Asylum was the they they focused more on the monster movies, like three headed, you know, you know, so three headed funny? jaws and. Uh, Killer piranhas. What if that would be funny? We talking shit about Asylum. It's like they, they email us when I listen to our show. It's like, hey, we sell your show. We'd love to sponsor you guys. <laughs> this next podcast is brought to you by Asylum. Asylum. <laughs> DJ Bless has a cameo in their next movie. You feel me? <laughs> Scored by. Completely <laughs> sold no, for real. Asylum merch. Asylum sold yeah. out. I said nothing about Asylum. That's this a podcast lie. Is brought to you by Asylum. <laughs> 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 Yeah, that's like Full Moon movies. That was another one. They used to do a lot of ripoffs too, oh. and stuff. Full Moon, but th those were the times of video stores and B and C movies. Yes. Now those are like C and D movies. I wouldn't even consider those B movies. Where I'm going with this is those movies still have a home. Oh, they fucking do. The home is now on Disney Plus. It's on Paramount Plus. Yes. It's on Hulu. It's on Peacock. It's on Apple Plus. It's on every one of these stupid pluses and minus streaming yeah, platforms. I agree. Or uh, do Triple we have? Plus. Does everything have to be a plus? I've noticed that too. Come on. A plus, yeah. ESPN Plus. Oh, it's just it's so embarrassing how these companies don't even bother trying to think outside the box. Dude, their marketing department's trash. What if we, what if we call it HBO Plus? And then someone was like, "We're doing fucking Max." At least HBO had they the decency the to do something, but now they're gone. And I think they are doing like Warner Brothers Plus really? or something. Yeah, HBO's going away. Are you? I heard Showtime's going away. You sure? I'm pretty sure. I'm fact checking. No, I think it's I'm Showtime. I'm pretty sure HBO Max is going to be dead, and mm -hmm. it's going to turn into. Uh, if you say Paramount, it's Showtime. No, it's it's something else. Really? Something else. Yeah, you can you can look it up if you want. Otherwise, I'm I didn't right. know that. Otherwise, I'm just I'm preaching right now. I know Showtime is definitely going to Paramount. Like they're over with. Like they're done. Showtime sucks. Well, if as a kid, Showtime was amazing. Because Showtime was great for Red Shoe Diaries. Remember Red Shoe Diaries? Hosted by David Duchovny. Remember that? That yeah, was amazing. <laughs> That was, never, that was that was the answer to Cinemax. I never forgot, or I never felt more uncomfortable in my life than when I watched an episode of Red Shoe Diaries and Matthew LeBlanc was on it. I don't even know who the fuck that is. That's Joey Patrick. from Friends. Really? Yeah, banging he was a on chick it? in an elevator, softcore porn style. That that Red Shoe Diaries was literally Showtime's answer for Cinemax. Yeah, Skinemax. Yeah. Skinemax. Yeah, yeah. That's why I said with the with the channels at night, you just press the buttons back and forth, and you have Cinemax, so you can see a little bit of it. 
Yeah. Yeah. Of course. Okay, back to the subject. Red Shoe, Di- Red Shoe Diaries. You mm-hmm. will be missed. Pour one out. <laughs> R.I.P. I watched way too much porn when I was younger. Red Fact check. <laughs> Red I Shoe Diaries. Don't regret any of it. It made me a man. It made you who you are today. It, it, it taught me everything I know today a, about the female anatomy. That's why you had a kid in junior high school. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> you became a statistic. That's right. You became a statistic. <laughs> Bro, they got, check this out for all the people who are listening. Red Shoe Diaries 1992 was a drama. Yeah, fu- Dude, I was 11 years old. You was nine. I was nine. Yeah, I was watching was that. Like at a, I was. I peaked early. Yo, for real. So 5.7 out of 10 on IMDb, 68% on Just Watch. And it's right now on Tubi. Right now. Right now. Right now. And that leads right into what you're saying. Looks like I have something to kick up when I get home. Five seasons of it. My wife's going to be like, Adam, why do we have a subscription to Tubi? <laughs> no, Tubi's Tubi free. Plus. It's Tubi, Tubi Plus. Tubi Plus. That's a, <laughs> for real. Uh, they only offered the first season of Red Shoe, short for Red Shoe Diaries. I had to get Plus to, to get, get all the rest five of them. seasons. Yeah, had Dude, to get to Covney in all five seasons. Dude, it ran from 1992 to 1997. It, had a, it was a good run. Dude, I was 16 years old when it stopped. It, uh, it put me through high school. It put me through middle school. I, I was already with real women by then. Put me through middle school. <laughs> I was a real woman by then. I said goodbye, Red Shoe Diaries. I need you no more. <laughs> Thank you, David. <laughs> Thank you, David. You've done your job. You've done your job. Thank you so All right, much. Let's get off of the softcore porn and back to whatever the hell this topic is, streaming. Outside of the garbage copy movies that now have found their way onto streaming and for some reason get more spotlight, because that's what we're doing, the big thing I want to talk about is how Disney on Disney Plus and some of these other some of these other ones to a lesser extent are marketing and using the same actors from like 20 years ago yes. in the sequels. Yes. So we have like Enchanted 2, Disenchanted, Hocus Pocus 2, A Christmas Story 2. I can't believe they even touched that one. With the original kid who's now like 50. He's older than us. Yeah. Yeah. He's... And he's playing the same dude. It's just, it's just so sad. He has both his eyes. What used to happen... Which I was fine with. I could forgive it because they were shout out to DVD and no one knew. Mm -hmm. Is they would make sequels to movies years later with different actors. Do you remember Behind Enemy Lines with Owen Wilson? Yes. A nice little bottle episode where he crashes a jet and he has to fight for his freedoms. Good movie. Mm -hmm. Hour and a half. Is it? It's got to be. Because it was in and out fast. I think it was the answer to Broken Arrow. Hey, either way I'm in. Yeah. Either way I'm in. They made a sequel to uh, they made a sequel to that like seven years later, straight to DVD, different actor. I do remember Butterfly those. Effect with Ashton Kutcher. Don't tell me they made a part two because I never saw it. I won't tell you that. I'll made I'll tell you they made two of them. I didn't even know that. Butterfly Effect two and three different actor. I didn't even fucking That's know that. That's absolutely I'm right. I'm dead serious. Blade. The trilogy. They made the TV show. Then they made Blade movies straight to DVD with a different actor. Really? Absolutely right. Yes. Really? Yes. I remember they had the TV show. Was Fact it, uh... check all day. I have knowledge. <laughs> Useless knowledge. I didn't even know they did that. So what's happening is those movies are now becoming reality on streaming, and they're getting marketed, and for some reason the original actors, who oftentimes have moved on to like good films, mm-hmm. like Amy Adams, who has a fucking Academy Award, she's now back singing her heart out in Disenchanted, that was like entirely shot in front of a green screen for fifty dollars and a stick of gum, <laughs> just miserable looking. And a Chick Fil A card. And a Chick Fil A expired. Chick-fil-A card. Expired. Yeah. <laughs> it only works on Sundays. Or or they gave him a Chipotle minus the food poisoning. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a Chipotle fan. I celebrate Chipotle's entire. Catalog. You really like Chipotle? I like Chipotle. Fuck I Netflix. eat at Chipotle. <laughs> oh gosh, no. <laughs> Once in a while, sure. Dude, it that might place? hit me a little harder than <laughs> I'm about it should. to say. Yeah. Once in a while, that sure. <laughs> Oh gosh! But no. if anything, it's just kicking the system. It's I just moving it. me around. This, okay. This show is sponsored by Moe's. <laughs> this, <show, laughs> this show is sponsored by Moe's. The um, yeah. So we have that whole situation going on. But this does make me go back to the nostalgia factor because this stuff was going on at Disney all the time. Yeah. People just don't remember. My kids don't even know these movies exist. But there is a Little Mermaid 2 and 3. I didn't even know that. There's a Beauty and the Beast 2, like Christmas Wish. There's an Aladdin 2 and 3. You don't remember those? No, hell no. It's like Prince of Thieves is one of them, and Return of Jafar is another one. That's my sister's era. Yeah, because what happened was the first ones go to the theater. Okay. They do well. 
And then Disney's like, eh, we don't want to go like full dick in for a sequel. We're going to go half in. We're going to go half in. So yeah. we're not going to pay the like good voice actors. We're going to get like impressionists. Dude, I didn't even know this shit. Yeah, I know. I'm all in on this. I didn't even know that. Yeah, and so they shit it out on DVD or on VHS, which was a precursor to DVD. For so the I'm kids. guessing you found all this at your video store. Exactly. Or, um, they had to be. Exactly. I'm like, I did not see none of this stuff. They didn't really put it on commercials. They didn't, I didn't, even they didn't know advertise that. it really. Like sometimes you would see it in like a a magazine, like a video game magazine. You'd see mm-hmm. an ad for one of these shows, like Lion King One and a Half. I think is a movie. It what? focuses on Simone and Pumbaa. They're I like the main, yeah. Know that. It's like their storyline, I believe, while Simba's doing his shit in the first film. Dude, while you was doing that, I was in the other section. Looking I wasn't at doing it. I didn't watch any of them. I oh, just know okay. they existed. <laughs> yeah, I didn't even. see I've those. never seen that film, and I think there's a third one where Simba and Nala have a kid, and I don't know his name, Kumba or some crap. He's got, like, a scar down the eye. I think he's a more rambunctious one. Never saw that either. I just know it's there. Dude, I didn't even know none of this. It's all. It's probably I'm all on Disney serious. Plus to watch. It probably is. I didn't know none of this. And yeah. Unless Disney totally took it, and they don't want nothing to do with it right now, because they're going to redo it again. Yeah, probably. With new voices. Probably. Same fucking movie. Yeah, well, of Same course. Same exact and that's movie. The, and that's where we're really at. So, in the 90s, they made these terrible sequels. They were kind of harmless, though. They just came out. Disney profited off of crappy crash ga- uh, cash grabs. Now, though, it's all right in your face, right on the homepage, and they're, like, proud of it, which yeah. annoys the shit out of me. It's like, look at this terrible movie that we put no effort into, but we're marketing it all, all over social platforms, and then you get, like, bombarded by hateful comments if you kind of call them out for it being terrible. I hate that shit. It's like, who's... Why I do, do hate you... That. You don't owe Disney anything to say... Hey, maybe this Pinocchio movie was pretty bad. Shut the fuck up. I yeah. love it. How dare you? How dare you Just say like anything? Just like a movie. Just like a movie. Bro, it's ridiculous right now. I, I'm not going to lie. It definitely is ridiculous. But the thing I look about it, the, one, the thing I think about is this. You're right. Back in the days, you had the choice to see it and move on. Yeah. Now, it's directly in your fucking face. <laughs> like, it's like, like that's the whole thing with streaming. It's like, oh, remember that whack-ass movie we didn't see? It's right here. Let's watch it. It's right there. It's right there. Yeah. It's definitely right there. Let's watch that right now. Oh, and play it right now. Fact check. But no, I, I totally agree with what you're saying, man. I totally agree. But see, why you was in that, not saying you was in that section, but mm-hmm. I was looking over there. Yeah, I was over in the horror section looking for, like, the obscure shit I couldn't find anywhere else and everything. That's why I loved about mom and pop shops. Everyone had different sections of horror, or if that was what you're into, like I was, or action or drama or whatever. But it, none of them had the same movies. Like, they all had the same popular ones, but each one would have a different set of those underground or rare B movies to find and stuff. Like, you feel what I'm saying? Like, yeah. they had, like, Return of the Living Dead 3. Sure. What the fuck are you going to find Return of the Living Dead 3? Like, right. you feel what I'm saying? Some yeah. shit like that. I never really went into that stuff at all. And I liked horror movies, too. Dude, I was a huge horror fan. I, I was just, like, all in on, like, Jean-Claude Van Damme and, and Van Damme and movies like that. And no, but see, I, I, I was like that, too. Yeah. But for me personally, dude, I loved horror. Like, I'm yeah. a huge horror head to this day. And stuff, to this day, like, I'm still a huge horror head. So it's like, um, now, it's, uh, you know, it's, I find shit I really don't care. Like, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because it's not as exciting as it used to be. It's not as exciting. No, it's like not finding that rare gem. I think that's the other big factor is no rarity no more there's no like pageantry anymore big fucking word there's no magic you know oh, magic that's what it means Fuck. there's no like red carpet rollout for movies when there was a new release in uh, a blockbuster or hollywood usually was a there was one thing. or two releases a week i think it was every if i'm not mistaken it was every friday yeah and they were friday it was a big deal you yeah. everybody would rush out and try to rent these movies they'd be gone off the shelves most of the time and if you knew somebody you would call like the you'd night pre-order. before and be like yo dude hold that for me hold that table. shit for me yeah and you'd be ready to roll yeah it, it was just it was a fun time and everybody was watching the same movies and then talking is, about it which is lame in a way but in another way it you know it's it's community it brings people together to talk there's so much out there now. Dude, my attention span now is horrible, it's horrible. when it comes to shit. Th- let me tell you something. When I go to Netflix, that's the first one I go to. When I go to Netflix to try to watch something, I get anxiety. Yeah. I'm like, what the fuck do I watch? Like, it's so much at one time. It's right. like, what the fuck do I watch? Right. Like, And I usually call you up and like, hey, man, 
actually right, does she see any good documentaries? Because I'm like all over the place here. Maybe like, like, like what being, the fuck? A, a, being a critic, it's almost impossible. Oh my now. gosh. Everybody's like, you need to watch Wednesday. You need to watch this. You need to watch this. Like, I don't have time. I'm yeah, like, that's another thing, too. I don't, I don't have, have time. life at some point. That's another thing, yo. Like, even with Wednesday, I want to watch Wednesday, but I just don't have time. Right. Like, I just don't have, like, I might watch it tonight, but, and that's a big might. And like that's the other saying? that's the other point I bring up with with the time as far as movie length. It's like, oh, this movie's two and a half hours long. There's so much better shit I could be doing. I mean, this yeah. movie's really got to be good to to waste that much time of mine. You know, like it's worth yeah. something. So let me ask you a question: Why do you think that they have two and a half hour and two hour movies now, where the people's attention span now is worse? Isn't that funny? It's the opposite. It's not like back in the days, two and a half hours would have been more understanding because people's attention span was more into it. Where now, people's attention span is like you could come out with a movie on Friday and it's old by Tuesday. I know. I think it's they think it's quantity over quality. It, it, you have to have an incentive for people to go to the theater. So they're like, well, this is a two and a half hour movie. You're getting your money's worth. Yeah. You know, when people see hour and a half, they're like, well, I'm buying popcorn. I'm buying a soda. I don't well, By the time I sit down, I'm getting up and leaving again. I think there is a, a certain audience that does look at it that way, where they go to a movie maybe once every five months. Yeah. So to them, they're like, because I see it in the comments too. Like, why are you complaining? You're getting more movie. You're there longer. Yeah. I, I see movies mean. every week. Every other day I watch a movie. I want it to be, uh, you know, a fruitful event. I don't want it to be something where I'm sitting there waiting for it to end. That's not a good movie. That's a chore. Then when I saw and if nobody's in there and I pull out my phone, that's when I know I'm just done. That's, it's over. Yeah, yeah, I know I'm just done with this movie. Like, I'm just here now just to get through with yeah, it. Yeah, you're like, what are you, who are you trying to impress? Yeah, that's, that's <laughs> right. If I'm the only one in there and there's nobody in there and that movie's trash, either I'll walk out like I did Jeepers Creepers. Jeepers Creepers, I stayed in there for 20 minutes and then walked right out. Yeah. Literally walked yeah. out. I got up and just walked out. I was like, nah, this movie's trash. And yo. shows have gotten so bad with it and it's oh, so gosh. obvious. It's so obvious they're padding out these shows that should have been movies to begin with. Uh Especially the Disney side of things. On Disney, I would agree with you too. With uh, I watched uh, only one episode of the what's the the uh, Marvel one? Moon Knight. I watched one episode. It was awful. I couldn't even. I could barely get to the one episode. Watched we watched it, three, and I was like, "Nah, I'm done." Yeah, Listen, we, I'm done. Our family tried watching like every one of these Marvel shows, and we could not get past the th- every time. It was the third episode. It's like there's still four more of these. What are they doing? Yeah, man, I, I, they just drag it yeah, too. Yeah, they drag. They drag. Andor man. was like that. I really liked the third. The third episode really tied the first two together. Yeah. Like, this is good. I can see why they released all three at once because the first two were a little bit of a chore to sit through. But then I was like, I don't really need to go on anymore. I'm kind of good. Dude, I didn't finish. You know what I noticed? I started doing, which is sad. I started fast forwarding the talking scenes to get into the action parts. That's what my wife does. It's, really? It's depressing. Dude, I started doing that. Like, yeah. cause I would recommend certain shows to friends of mine. Yeah. And I'd be like, I'm gonna warn you, I fast forward certain parts because I just my attention just can't hang with it. It's just boring I, me. I know. We've done that I've done that recently two times now total in my life, and they were within the last year. And one was during Dahmer. I think it was dude, episode I would, five or six. And you fast forward. Dude, I yeah. do that too. I do that shit yeah, too. Like, I saw this, fast forwarding through show stuff. going? It's not even about Dahmer anymore. And I just wasn't interested in like one of the side characters. And then I did it in The Boys. Yeah, which I've done is it a to show the boys. I really liked. And I'm like, I don't yeah, give a fuck boys. about Frenchie anymore. Shut up with Frenchie. And uh, I, yeah, did it that, I did it to that. Sorry, country, I did it to that yeah. one show you put me on to. Um, uh, Midnight Mass. I fast forward a lot really? of really, yeah. Lot man, I can see damn, that. I, a lot of dialogue was just too much, man. I totally agree a with lot. you. And it was really kind of awkward dialogue too. It Good show, yeah. But the yeah. dialogue was just overkill. Yeah, I really like that show. The dialogue was just overkill, man. Yes. It was just like fast forward, fast it's forward. It's a show that could have been cut in half, and you really wouldn't have lost anything. Yeah, but the dialogue yeah. just took it to a like with people going on like monologues, a lot of monologues. Yeah, and I was just like, man, this is a TV show. What the fuck are they doing? Yeah. <laughs> like, damn, and stuff. So yeah, no, nah, dude. You think they get a second season of that? <sighs> I don't know if he's going to. He, the director who did, he has that whole. Um, the haunt doesn't he do the haunting movies too, or the haunting I didn't shows? Even know. The haunting of Hill House. Oh, he does that too. I think is that's that good. Him. I heard it's really good. He has two different ones of that, and then he has Midnight Mass, and I think they're all kind of in that same universe. So I think he'll probably go on to do a different show. Uh, yeah. The um the overarching plot or overarching, if you will, I don't really know which way to say that word, is big words. Is that uh, a lot of the magic, like we said, is is kind of slipped away now. You don't have the 
Oh, on Fridays we watch Friends. On Saturday we oh, watch. I miss those uh, days, you man. Know, Thursdays like was the Cosby's. TGI Friday lineup. Yep, I remember those days, man. And it's like it's such a like such a pathetic privilege thing to complain about having too much material, you know, too much stuff to watch. But too much of anything is not good for you. I agree. I'm going to be honest with you. I agree. Me, okay, I look at it this way, yo. Me as a kid now, I probably would have definitely been like, oh my gosh, in yeah. my head. But we don't know that. Like, you get what I'm trying to say? Because right now is overkill. Me as an adult is overkill. Well, I have kids. So they how do they ever, feel? They don't ever ask to watch anything. That's what I'm saying. So I guess not, yeah. for anything because there's everything. It's too much, there's man. There's way it's too much. It's too much, they, man. They're not, like, psyched at all. I think the only time my daughter was ever kind of pumped for a show was Stranger Things. And by this last season, she was out way before uh, me and Lindsay were. Dude, that season's trash. It's so... F Again, the episodes are like two hours long. Bro, let me put it to you this way. I went ahead and got AMC Plus mixed with Shudder. Yeah. And ask me how many times have I watched anything. Like I can't that. imagine you even Dude, turned I, it on. Dude, I fucking... I haven't even watched nothing yet. Yeah. I haven't watched nothing. Like, there's absolutely nothing on there. Like, just in general, there's so much shit. I'm just like... Well, yeah, yeah you I'm gave good, me man. a couple weeks ago access to your streaming yes. stuff. Yes. Uh -huh. I still haven't... Touched it because I have a bunch of my own. I don't watch hardly anything on there. It's just too much, too much crap. I gave you mine, and I have my own, and I haven't even watched it. <laughs> you're paying for Dude, something you're not watching. I don't even watch it. I get it for everybody else, basically, now. And it's the worst because everybody's doing the same thing. You have one or two shows that you like from Peacock. Yes. One show that you like from Hulu. Two shows you like from this. It's like, well, if you cancel it, then you don't get access to it. Mm -hmm. it's, they know they have you by the So you're balls. basically paying for this one or two shows. You're paying for cable. Basically. But it's like almost worse at this point. Well, see, that is the difference between the streaming now and how it was at the movie th stores. Yeah. Basically, it's like you see it, you walk by it, you get a good movie, you go home. Now it's like you have to go through so much junk to find one good movie. Right. You feel what I'm saying? Like yeah. that, I hate that. And like, and the, the magic is just. It's just not the same, man. No. It's just not the same. It's not the same magic. It's not the same thrill to find something. And so, like, when you find that movie, like, I I can't remember the last time I found that movie. Well, in so many of the movies that they are making that are exclusives, the Red Notices, the... Um, they're not what, even made well, though. The Disenchanted. The, they're so poorly made. That's what I was saying. They're not even made. They look like straight yeah. to DVD. Even the good ones are just kind of like, okay. Eh. You could tell, and one thing I've noticed about these straight exclusives for these companies, I've noticed is that it's definitely longer, and I think if it was released the, uh, in the theaters, it would have been cut down probably like by a half hour right. in general. I think it's like literally the director or the editor, whoever, gets more freedom and stuff on the straight-to-DVD stuff, or if we say straight-to-streaming, than he would in the theaters, which makes it kind of worse if the movie's bad. Right. So, yeah, I'm with you on that one, dude. It's just, the magic is completely gone. Imagine seeing kids right now. Remember the movie Kids? Yeah. Imagine seeing that now. And she's like, you would probably totally overlook it. Oh, absolutely. Like, you would totally overlook absolutely. it. Like, you would come out right now. You'd be like, oh, okay, you seen kids? Oh, no, I haven't seen it yet. I've been outside. What are you doing Friday? Like, you feel what I'm saying? Like, There's you wouldn't so even. so many movies. Uh, my my uh, brother texted me two days ago. He said, hey, you should watch Wonder. Have you seen Wonder? I'm like, uh, Wonder from like eight years ago or something? Yeah. yeah, I saw that. It was fine. And then I go on Netflix, and there's a movie called The Wonder, and that's what he's referring to. I don't even know the that. movies just come out. You don't have no any idea. They're just released one day. They're gone the next. Something else shows up. Wash, rinse, repeat. No one has time to like talk or digest or even get excited. Yeah, for it's not exciting at all. Like they got this one show now on Netflix. I forgot the name of it. The plane crash one or something. They go yeah. through time oh. and they come back. I forgot the name of that show, but that's literally a ripoff of the 4400. It sounds like five different shows. Well, it's fucking lost. Trash. It's basically a fake ass lost. It's definitely a fake ass lost. The, the thing that sucks about all of this is on the one hand, you have all the noise on the streaming. And on the other hand, you have the theater, which is dying. Which is a sad thing because I look forward to the theater. That's all I look forward yeah. to. Do you, you, I told somebody the other day, I said, somebody, I told the other day, I forgot who it was. And I said, yo. I really don't watch movies at my house because I don't have my... First of all, I'm too Certainly not, not the same way you watch yeah, it Exactly. Yeah. So when I do watch it at the house, like I don't have time, number one. And when I do watch it, I'm so occupied with other things right. that I'm not... But when I go to the theater, my focus is on the movie and stuff. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, unless uh, unless I strike it rich and become a multimillionaire and I build like this massive theater myself. I've always wanted myself, one of those, dude. I've always wanted my own theater. And then it's just me in there and like some close friends that I know aren't going to be dicks. That's about the only scenario I can see where we have a good win here in about 10 years. Am I one of those friends? Yeah, of course. Okay, cool. Of course you are. Okay, cool. Of course okay, you are. Cool. Yeah. How about It'll be you and I hanging out in a private theater. That's that's the end game at this point.
Non-sexual. Well, we'll see where we'll see where, <laughs> we'll see where things go. <laughs> yo, but I always wanted my own theater. Yo, I looked at Drake's house one day. My friend came over here and he said, "Bro, if you really want to question your life, look at Drake's house." And I looked at Drake's house. This dude has a movie theater, a basketball court, everything that I would want, a basketball Whoa. court, a, a full basketball court, a movie, th- a fucking real theater. Like you would pay at AMC and stuff, the popcorn machine. Right. He's what not charging, the fuck? He's not charging $12 <laughs> for a soda. Dude, like man, I've always wanted a, a home movie theater. So awesome. Like I've always wanted yeah. that. Just close the door, mind my business, don't want a movie, leave me alone. Think about you know, multi-billionaires or even, I think there's a trillionaire now. Is it? Yeah, I think there is a trillionaire too. Gotcha. But think about um, Elon Musk. He dropped $44 billion on Twitter. That means he has money just laying around this. He could have He could have opened up like his own movie theaters and like, man, you could have done so much cool shit with $44 billion Instead of buying Twitter. to buy Twitter with it. What a yeah. stupid ass thing. Yeah, I, I don't know, dude. I've, like I said, yo. My plan, and I agree with you on the end game part, is to have my own movie theater room. Yeah. Like, seriously, I've already, I already looked up chairs. Like, at night, I, I look up chairs and stuff, like, what soundproofing I'm going to need, all that. Like, and then I'm, you gotta go e- Then you have to go even further with it, though, and make your movie premieres, like, an event. Yes. You have to, like, look when movies are machine. releasing on streaming, because there's nothing going to theaters anymore. And, well, then again, they'll all be shitty movies, too. They'll Dude. be, like, all digital green screen movies. Bro. <laughs> a lot of you show not, man. Me personally, yo, like I would totally make it a movie night with popcorn, yeah. food, everything. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, prostitutes. It'd be awesome. I mean, it'll be amazing. It'll be an amazing time. Amazing time. Well, I think that's a good way to stop this conversation on a, on a high, happy note. Yes. I mean, we've been running for an hour and a half. That's how good the conversation was. It was. I thought it. You know, it went to Red Shoe Diaries. It, it took a left turn a couple times down some sketchier paths, but we got back here. But the umbrella was. The movies at the uh, at, at the um, Hollywood videos. Sure. So we ended it off right now at that point. We came right back around. We, we came full circle, and yeah. uh, I guess that's the best we can ask for with yes. a couple of ADD individuals. You ain't lying, bro. Yeah. I need fucking medicine. <laughs> I appreciate you listening, watching along with us. Let me know in the comments if you remember the glory days of going to the movie rental stores or if you've heard them from your parents and yes. thought, wow, what a crazy wild time to be alive. Now I got to do something else because I can't sit still for five seconds. Yeah, long. Subscribe if you haven't. Like the video if you had a good time. Hope to hear from you in the future. And until then, take care. Peace.